Hey, welcome back to another episode from Life on Living Well. My name is Richard and we'll be your anchor for this particular topic for this week. I did mention last week that I might be able to bring uh, a guest where we look into these virtues one by one together. But at the moment, I'm not able to bring anyone else here, but I arranged to do one with a close friend uh, sometime this week because of the lockdown. So respecting the social distance was really key how to do that and do it over the phone a bit uh, limited with the resources currently I have at my hand but like I said the topic I wanted to start this week is to look into the six uh, virtues stated in the book of authentic happiness by Martin Seliman and I hope that the topic will be enlightening, helpful and insightful for someone and if you have any question you can always write to me uh, send the email to info at life for living well dot info and if you want to know more about what life for living well does you can check it out on our website and the website is www.lifeforlivingware.info you can also check our youtube channel if it's something that you would like to say but almost the same thing that we have on the podcast we have on the website and we have on the youtube so we tend to keep it that way uh, let's get started for today uh, this week i have to start with courage as a virtue so and there's an obvious reason why i choose courage as a virtue uh, i could have choose any of the six but i sense that looking into all those virtues you cannot actually have the remaining five without having courage first and luckily every woman being were born with courage but unfortunately we live a life i say we don't have it so, sometimes we surprise ourselves when we swim against the storm that we are stronger than we thought we are we are powerful than we imagined that we could be and only a situation that actually bring this thing out in us but i wanted to talk about how we can actually use this as a character and making us even much better woman being better woman being in the sense that we have more or attract more pleasant experience to our life than unpleasant experience so let's get started courage as a virtue Personally, it is a great privilege and opportunity to talk, write about this virtue. There are six virtues identified as universal virtues to all human beings, regardless of their color, race, gender, or economic conditions. According to Martin Seliman's book, Authentic Happiness. It is one of the book I strongly recommend if you're interested in living life with a purpose and finding happiness within your character and and to develop yourself. The topic I have from the list, which we're going to examine in the next six weeks, hopefully, and um, for this week. I will start with courage for obvious reason. In my opinion, I see courage as a foundation toward other five. So I don't see how you can have or develop that other five in you 
without the courage. Sometimes being harsh, it doesn't make you a strong person. It just make you, it could make you a jack. Being blunt, it just show you that you are tactless. It doesn't show that you actually have courage. You just don't care. And that's different. Courageous people are also caring, but also not running away from difficult situation or difficult event. Maya Angelou once said, courage is the most important of all the virtues because without courage, you cannot practice any other virtue consistently. This is powerful insight and it's true. How could you be honest when you lack courage? Without worry about what is the consequences of your honesty. How can you truly love another person when you are worried about abandonment, rejection, when you cannot be vulnerable, impossible? Some people miss taking self-obsession to self-love. You begin to truly love another person when you love yourself. And when you love yourself, it is impossible to go out to other people. And you take courage to actually love yourself. A lot of people don't really know how to truly love themselves. They stuck their life with the external objects. Men, women, cars, money. If you take all these things away from them, they feel like they are nobody anymore. Today, what character trait used in exchange to virtues? For example, self-confidence, assertiveness, self-esteem. Previous generation will be a pearl with this character trait as honesty, service to others, duty to yourself, to the family, to your organization, to your country, commitment or view as good qualities. Without courage, it is impossible to be authentic without worry the consequence of your honesty. Integrity and responsibility. There are differences in 19th century generation where quality like honesty, quality like brave, quality like integrity, responsibility are key things that the society celebrates. Today, Society celebrate and promote individuals that demonstrate strong self-confidence, demonstrate assertiveness, demonstrate self-esteem. All these qualities are good, but they are also dangerous in individuals that lack virtues. If you are self-confident and self-assertiveness, but you also self-obsessed about yourself, how will you put anyone into your shoes? That is impossible. It's like you are trying to make day and night together. But you must be able to know how to live and work in the day and also, also how to use and work in the night. With courage, we are also able to accommodate um being vulnerable in love as i said earlier many people wanted love but the love they are looking for 
is the physical pleasure, not the love that support their emotional well-being, mentally, psychologically, and financial well-being. They are looking for pleasurable of a body. And then when they get there, it's not enough. They need more. So that's why a lot of drama that go on in relationship are apparent a lot. So it takes courage to be vulnerable. Because when you are not afraid of losing relationship, you are more able to be there in your authentic self. You're more able to know what you're feeling. You're more able, you are able to be there for yourself and the other person. Because the most important thing is love. When you're able to love yourself and love another person, you make your life more rich in many areas. Relationship is great when you are with the right person. Because if we take you joy and pleasant to grow, to know that someone else loves you. So, so if you wanted to prove that you are courageous, will you be able to be vulnerable in your relationship? When you are no longer afraid of abandonment or rejection. A lot of people have a trust issue and they still pretend to go to a relationship and they bring out the past event into their current relationship. It takes courage. It takes courage to be naked and to see your own scar and to see your own wound and to accept your own wound and accept another person's wound. It takes courage. I'll tell you a short story. A mother recently visited her two daughters in a foreign land. Before she traveled, her two daughters agree how she's going to split up her time when she arrived to the country. But the two daughters live in a different part of the country and the distance between both of them is four hours. But the younger sister lives very close to the airport where the mother will arrive first. So the, and the mother was planning to come and spend a week with, with her daughters. So they agreed that the younger sister will accommodate their mother for three days while the older sister will come down and pick their mother and spend the rest of her holiday with her and her family and then she will take her back to the airport. So on the day of the arrival, the younger sister prepared to go and pick their mother at the airport. She was looking forward to it. Uh, on their way back, everything was fine. So when they get to the younger sister home, there is a clash of personality. They both are very demanding and they like to control their space. So the mother started asking and putting things in a different place. So the younger sister couldn't take it anymore and he, she shut down completely and the mother couldn't take a word from her. So the mother panicked and called the older sister to come and pick her up. For the older sister to go down and pick her mother from her younger sister, it's going to take uh, four hours of drive and he, she's going to try to change the thing that he was doing that day. So what she did, she called her younger sister to know what's going on. So the younger sister said she was tired of their mother, that their mother is demanding, their mother is asking for so many things, so their mother is putting the plate in the wrong place. And she just come up with all the list of things that 
she doesn't like that she wants her mother to behave certain way to tell her what to do and she should listen and do it because it's her place so the older sister listened to her younger sister and she said can you tolerate her for three days and the younger sister said yes but i won't stay at home so she decided to go and stay with her friend that day so the older sister said are you okay if i come to pick her is that okay for you and she said yes if i if her sister want to come and pick their mother so anyway the older sister went down to pick their mother as they were coming back from the journey the mother became like three years old she was asking for so many things she won this she won that so the older sister look at it in a different way look into the one that she can have she can support and the one she cannot support she rejected with compassion without letting it get into her so when they get to her house the older sister make sure that the mother eat listen to mother without giving any advice and then the following day when the mother is come down the older sister approach the mother again and allow her to see why the younger sister was repelling her and not accepting her demanding and, and her expectation and she was she was shocked initially at that a simple request that she thought simple simple request was actually no simple request for uh, her daughter so anyway after her holiday she's on her way back to the airport so the, when they go to the airport the younger sister is already there waiting to meet her so she, they can make up so they make up their quarry and then the younger sister turned to the older sister and, and said how did you do it the older sister looked into her younger sister and said courage so then turned to her older sister asked how did you do it she looked at her and said courage it is a courageous art to let people be who they are and that moment without needed them to be someone else we are all unique and we are all in a different stage in our life regardless of our age i, I don't say you should accept every bad behavior i'm saying that if you cannot accommodate people into your life that they will make you even more seen even more be negative even more bringing a negative experience from your life you should find a way of creating a boundary that actually when it's family or friend creating a boundary that minimize their energy in your life and sure when we lack energy we lack boundary we feel swam by other people energy so much so it takes courage courage to accept people and to do that we have to start from ourselves almost every problem could solve by starting from yourself first you want to get rid of the debt you have to start from yourself what is it that you are doing that you will be able to confront and face and let go When you already accept yourself as who you are, it's easier to accept another person. The problem is that a lot of people claim that they love themselves, but it's only self-obsession in a way that only focus on yourself and your problem alone, and you don't feel like other people have similar or bigger problem than you. So take courage to face setback like a champion.
So how can you develop courage or improving it? Because like I said earlier, everyone was born with courage. Number one, regularly take yourself out of your comfort zone. There is no shortcut to courageous. It's like you're building the muscle. You begin to practice this thing. If you are the person that needs more patience, you will attract a lot of people that will test your patience. You will attract a lot of situations that will test your patience. And you have opportunity one loss. I don't believe that. You have a lot of opportunity. The problem is that when you develop yourself, you will be able to smell which opportunities to take, which one not to take. Because sometimes you can lose and you still win most of the time. And most of the time you win, but you actually lose. And every situation will prepare you to where you need to be, not what you want to be. Number two, use self-awareness. This is also key to develop your courage. You have to be able to ask yourself, why do you behave the way you behave? Why do you want to dominate, controlling a situation, other people? Is because you've been afraid of being vulnerable, being foolish. And why did this thought, belief, come from? What kind of belief you hold against yourself? It takes courage to face yourself in that way. And I think one of the reasons why it makes courage difficult to expand in every one of us is fear. And we must learn how to face our fear. And sometimes our deliverance is based on what we are afraid of. Whatever we are afraid of, we have to prepare to face it. And then we're no longer afraid of it. There was a time in my own life that I was afraid to be alone. I was afraid of death. I was afraid of death. I was afraid of traveling alone. I was afraid of going to the cinema alone. I was afraid of going to restaurants alone. I was afraid of writing. I was afraid of a lot of things. And by the grace of God, I was able to face all this fear and unethical beliefs that would pat me back personally and with courage able to become a mystery over it. And you can do the same. You needed to face your fear. You needed to don't let your fear overcome you. And the only way you do that is to actually face that fear. If you are afraid of being alone, take a break from your thing and just spend the quality time by yourself. Where people that enjoy their own time by themselves, they are also a great companion because they don't need other people to stimulate them the way other people that are always running away and connected to other people to keep them stimulating and that make them taking too much from everyone and in this life we are all energy some energy are so hungry like a vampire that they just want to suck in not give anything back So what is your fear? Remember, you are born courageous, but society and life circumstances have diluted it. Now is the time to write your story. With courage, you can do and face many opportunities. Winston Churchill put it much better. Success is not finer. Failure is not fatter. It is the courage to continue that can't i hope that this false topic from the virtues from the six virtues helping someone this week and this year and if you have any question you can always write to me at info at 
lifeforlivingword.info. So send your request or your comment to info at lifeforlivingword.info. Uh, we try to arrange if I can get the interview script for this particular topic sometimes throughout this uh, episode. But if I'm not, we probably do it when things are come back to normal and we're able to connect to other people very well. Thank you so much for your time. I realize that this is running for over 25 minutes, but thank you so much for your time. Whatever you do this week, please stay safe and have a great one. Thank you.